Now, when the World Trade Center towers collapsed after the terrorist attacks of 9-11, a host of conspiracy theories grew out of the dust and rubble. Some people claim that the U.S. government actually organized the attacks or allowed them to happen. And they point to the little-remembered collapse of a third large skyscraper, WTC-7, as a key part of their evidence. Now, BBC Two's Conspiracy Files has examined the case of Tower 7 to find what really caused the 48-story skyscraper to fall. Mike Rudin is producer of the program and joins me now. Mike, very good morning to you. Morning. What is it about 9-11 and the World Trade Center that so exercises conspiracy theorists? I think what's um, exciting about 9-11 uh, in particular is that it's, it's taken so long to, give, to provide some of the answers. Uh, we've looked at one particular building where nearly seven years after 9-11, we still haven't had the final report. And this is a 610-foot uh, skyscraper, so a huge skyscraper that collapses neatly and symmetrically. And people say if you look at it, it looks like a controlled demolition. And uh, are there are claims that the BBC itself is part of this conspiracy. Yes, I mean, it, it's uh, it, uh, BBC, along with other outlets, um, did actually uh, get it wrong and did say that it collapsed before it did. Um, and uh, that's got a lot of people wondering whether, you know, well, why, why would you have done that? And then the satellite g goes down, and then we had to admit that to it we'd, uh, we'd lost the tape. So, of course, we then d tried to find out some of these things, what actually had happened. It turns out the tapes weren't lost. We found them on another shelf. And a satellite, there was an explanation for that. It had gone down at 5.15, bang on out. It just uh, ran out of time. Um, and so there are often simpler explanations some of these things. Let's just have a look. There's a clip, I think, of the tower collapsing. Let's just show that first of all. And, and this is the one, uh, and it housed yeah, some interesting organizations. Yes, I mean, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it, it housed the CIA, uh, the Secret Service, the uh, Department of Defense, and, in fact, the very agency that uh, was uh, designed to combat terrorism in, in New York. And bizarrely, that was actually housed on the 23rd floor of this building. So when people found these things out after the event, it's, oh, it's, a, bit, it's a bit curious, isn't it? Mm. Now, talking about Jane Stanley and the BBC, uh, just explain, very uh, again, how the BBC says this all happened. Well, um, Jane, Jane, uh, Jane, uh, the B BBC's... Um, um, the head of World News, Richard Porter, has looked into this, done an investigation, and, uh, and uh, it was a tumultuous day. And he's, he, he's found out some new information since that investigation, um, and, and um, this is what he found out. Well, I think you have to put it in the context of what was an incredibly chaotic day uh, for everybody involved in trying to, to cover the story. The investigations we've carried out suggest very strongly that... Um, we were working on the basis of an incorrect news agency report. We had this statement from Reuters. It came, it came some time after our original inquiries, actually. But what it says is, um, on September the 11th, 2001, Reuters incorrectly reported that one of the buildings at the New York World Trade Center, 7 WTC, had collapsed before it actually did. The report was picked up from a local news story and was withdrawn as soon as it emerged that the building had not fallen. That's Richard Porter, head of... Uh World Television. In terms of what Jane Stanley is saying, what, mm. what, what's her response? Well, she was a reporter who was there on the day and uh, and was had the difficult thing of having a back to the event, you know, having just got there and didn't have, you know, had very little information come to her. So, and uh, she's never talked about this before, but she 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 told us that it was an honest mistake. I was thrown, not a question, but a statement of fact. I don't know where that came from. Jane, what more can you tell us about its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. I mean, it's very, very difficult being in that position where you've got no communications, no access to information, and that just comes out of left field. Details are very, very sketchy. There's it was very upsetting about a year ago because of the level of persecution and the virulence in which I was spoken about. And um, it's just very unfortunate that this whole conspiracy kind of, I think, rather ridiculous situation has grown out of what's really a very small and very honest mistake. Well, unfortunately, I think we've lost the line with uh, Jane Stanley. It's uh, a difficult one, this, isn't it? I mean, do you think people will uh, accept these explanations? A lot of work has gone into your programme, clearly, but, but will people 
I understand it. A huge amount has gone into the, the official in investigation, which has been, you know, now the culmination of, of years of work. And um, this is a crucial moment, ne nearly seven years after. So for the conspiracy theorists, this is the, this is the moment when, you know, they'll, they'll find out the last official report on 9-11. I think some people will change their mind, but there will be a sizable number of people who will never accept it because they just, you know, don't trust anything official or even, you know, anything from a mainstream media who also, they think, are in on the plot somehow. Yeah.